transformation in our generation begins with transformation in our mindset. These are not my words, but those of Annabel Geshure, a lady determined to create a positive impact to the society through her mentorship program. We transform generations through mentorship, coaching, and counseling, and also empowerment. Um, I have a motto of nurture, I nurture, empower, and transform. So I have to nurture the young ones who are the children, the young adults, and the teenagers. Then I empower them with different skills so that I'm able to transform them holistically. We mentor individuals through our online programs and also the physical programs, but we also work with different counties to plan for the empowerment of different young adults and also different schools. I've worked with schools and churches who bring all the young adults and the children together so that we are able to teach them more of the life skills. The most common cases um, in the counseling system, sexual abuse for children, especially in this era. And career, career coaching, whereby uh, they need to actually find what they need to do after school. Career coaching to help them find what they are called for, what is their passion. And I think those are the two major cases that I deal with. And I'm, I'm, I'm running the empowerment program of um, physical development and sexuality for girls and boys to help them discover themselves more because of the gap I've noticed under the sexual abuse. Her experience growing up influenced the target group she's chosen to work with under her organization. I chose um, empowerment because for all of us, we need to be transformed at one point. And if we can connect with all adults, most of us came to know ourselves, to discover ourselves when we were about 25, because we never had a chance to do it when we were younger. So I, I am feeling that gap of, I don't want children to grow the way we, we grew. I want them to discover themselves before they, they are adults. Because the moment we change the children, we transform the adults of tomorrow. My life when I was growing up was, I have, I have had a good life. I would say I'm blessed. I went to some of the best schools, but I had a disconnection uh, in the family system whereby I was trying to discover myself. So uh, what is quote unquote rebellious? So you rebel against all norms to be able to discover yourself. And through that, I, I came to know myself when I was about 18, 20, and I said no other child, no other teenager will go through that. So I'm able to empower the parents to be able to understand the child from their level. Because most of the children when they are rebelling, they are trying to tell you, please listen to me. And that is, my voice was not heard. And so I chose, I chose my voice to be heard by, I demanded for my voice to be heard. And I don't want any other child to go through that. That is why I'm feeling in the gap. So that I'm able to empower the child as I'm also empowering the parents to be able to understand them from their level and pick them up from their point of discomfort. With most of her clientele being parents and children, Annabelle feels the need for parents to be more understanding with their children. For the children, I would, um, I would paint a picture of a parent-child relationship. Most, what I, like what I've just said, uh, most, most clients who are, who are children are brought up when um, there's a disconnection between the parent and the child. The parents are not understanding why the child is running away from home. They're not understanding why the child is actually not listening to them. And they are trying to control their life. They are trying to control the teenager. But at that time, they are rebelling because you're, con you're imposing your values on them. And at this point, they want their space. So that is, and that is why most of the families with teen, with the teen dimensions, they tend to say that is the most rebellious stage. But it's because the child is growing and you also have to grow with the child, support them through the growth. But what most of us do is 
we, we 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 are not letting them go that is the stage where you as a parent you supposed to to, uh, to make to let them go let them go by supporting them through the process of their career of their passion she is an enthusiast of mentorship and transformation annabel therefore makes me understand how this has been of benefit to the society i'm glad because of the mentorship sessions they are helping them to discover themselves more you find a child actually getting into the path of realizing their passion they are able to take music classes at the end what is most fulfilling they are able to have a good family atmosphere because I also, as i empower the child i also empower the parent so they are able also to understand their children better which is the key role because as i mentor the children they also go back to the parents so if i mentor the child alone and leave the parent it's uh, we are mark timing around the same um, challenge but i'm proud that um, i can see the transformation through what how they are viewing life and how they are actually transforming their own lives through getting into what they love and also through mentoring others. Uh, we've seen transformation before and after because after going through the three months of the rehab services, they are able to, they are able to understand, them, understand themselves better. And before, uh, they are able also to change their ways of living. Before, as they come in, they, they, they are, maybe they are deep in alcohol, so we are able to replace that with an activity that can actually brighten their life. And as they are brightening their life, they are able also to help the other individuals around them. Many people my age, they don't know what they want to do. So through Annabelle's program, I was able to see like my change, like my my influence in the community it can be done through various ways like being a good role model to people my age people can come and talk to me and say like Linda I have a problem here and here can you help me yeah also like I also believe that many people my age they might not know what their purpose is yeah so like they end up going to they end up going to school to study for their parents which is not ideal I would encourage everyone to, when they go to university or, or wherever they are, pick something that you love, something that you are passionate, passionate about, something that when you wake up every morning, you feel like, yes, this is what I'm supposed to do. Backing up her good cause are various partners whom she works closely with. We treat and rehabilitate people with alcohol and drug abuse problems. Our program is a holistic problem, program sorry, where we treat a uh, body, soul, and the mind, and we also look at the spiritual aspect of a person. When you look at somebody who has gone through addiction, they have lost uh, all aspects of their wellness. They are not taking care of themselves physically, they are not eating well, they are not taking maybe a shower like they should, you know. They have lost their emotional well-being, they are not able to control their emotions. Every time they, feel they get happy, they want a drink. Every time they are sad, they want a drink. They don't know how to normalize their emotions. When you look at now the spiritual aspect, you'll find that most of them do not even go to church or do not identify with any religion or spiritual well-being. And also now mentally, they are not strong to say not to the drink. The element of the homeostatic adjustment that finally our brain will realize something resembling the normal state. So we can't bulldoze our way through what? Sometimes we have this element or this situation whereby we want to build our house in one day. Or sometimes you want to climb the tree from the top. Annabelle has a lot of uh, um, a wide network with the youth, with the young people, and as I say, prevention, even as they say, prevention is better than cure. So we are trying to tap into her networks to be able to reach out messages on drug abuse and alcoholism, the dangers, and the prevention part of it. The new, Nueva Esperanza, which means new hope in Spanish. So uh, it's a rehabilitation, rehabilitation center whereby um, we inspire and also transform the 
clients holistically by holistically i mean emotionally physically and also uh, through their medical records we are able to transform them through life skills uh, impacting life skills to them also making sure they have uh, the right medication and we are able to bring sobriety and the new home to them through the counseling field and through coaching them and also supporting them through the transforming process. Addiction has become so rampant in today's society, hence the need to be addressed. As you may be aware, uh, drug abuse and alcoholism is a big, big problem into our society and we are just doing the little we can to try and alleviate that problem in the society, to remove pain from families because we know addiction is a debilitating disease. It affects families, it breaks families, it brings a lot of conflicts to the families. So our day starts um, very early in the morning at 6 a.m. where people just wake up, we encourage them to do their own personal devotions for those who are Christian and they are willing. Then after they take their shower, we have breakfast. Then after we have breakfast, now we have what we call our common morning devotional, our morning assembly. Uh, we are guided by AAAA, Alcoholic Anonymous or Narcotic Anonymous. So we have like uh, topics that we go through every day, messages of hope, messages of encouragement. So we read them and we read the scripture and we just get to know each other. How are we doing? Our emotions, our feeling, how am I feeling? How is my journey so far? The journey to recovery. Because from here, you are starting a journey of sobriety, a journey of recovering from alcohol and drug abuse. Then after that, we usually have uh, what we call psychoeducation classes. The classes are on life skills, uh, classes or on sobriety, on addiction, to know what was ailing you. We have group activities, and then after the group activities, we also do Everybody is allocated a counselor, an individual counselor. The individual counselor works with you, mentors you, and becomes your lifelong partner in the sobriety journey. Your lifelong sponsor, where they will be able to walk a journey with you until you stand strong on your feet. Annabelle has experienced some challenges along the way in her service to humanity, but she is determined to keep going. I would say uh, the major challenge is blending. By blending, I mean I'm a counselor and a coach. There are two different dimensions. So blending them in a coaching context, you might, um, you might leave out one. As a counselor, uh, my, prof my background profession is counseling. And um, in counseling, you do not you do not guide you support but in coaching you guide so blending them in a session it um, it's challenging but as a professional you pack it i am geared towards bringing me hope in life empowering someone else supporting them and holding their hand to show them this is the right path everyone is fulfilling i would do it um every day every time though at the moment there are no sponsors. Annabelle says they are always welcome. Um, most of it is individually funded, but we have partners who we partner with when need arises. Yeah. But most of it is individually funded. For any sponsor, you're welcome to partner with us and sponsor us for this project. As a parting shot, here is her advice to the concerned parties. My advice to the young people. The first thing is to, for them to identify their trap. By trap, that means the talents they have, the resources they have at hand, the abilities they have, and what is their passion. They actually outline that, and in one way or another, it will lead them to what they're looking for and what they love. Let us invest in our children. Um, let us invest in them understanding themselves more, knowing themselves more, because they're our future generation. And for us to have a better tomorrow, we need to invest in them today. <laughs>